It's Monday, 3rd September, and this is Stop Stories by Rooster News. An investigation ordered by the Tamil Nadu government into the retrieval of organs from a brain dead patient at a private hospital in Salem district in May 2018 has found that the harvested heart and lung were allocated to two foreign nationals in corporate hospitals in Chennai without adopting the stipulated protocol for allocation. The organs were harvested and transplanted to the patients on May 21st. In one case, the organ was allotted to a foreigner, although it was requested for an Indian patient in the waitlist of organ recipients. Recipients of both the heart and the lung died shortly after the transplant surgeries were performed. The inquiry committee was set up by the Department of Medical and Rural Health following a letter from Kerala Chief Minister Pinarai Vijayan to his Tamil Nadu counterpart Edapari K. Palnisami seeking an investigation into a complaint that the organs were stolen from a brain-dead patient. Referring to the instant case, the inquiry report said, This again points to Transstan coordinator aiding specific hospitals to get allocation of organs to patients of their choice, denying others ahead of them in the waiting list. The two Transstan outsourced staff willfully put the wrong UID or unique identity number to facilitate the bypassing of patients. In addition, they did not update the Transstan registry or the website of the change recipient numbers, it said. India finished the Asian Games with its best ever medal haul in continental event with 69 medals, 15 gold, 24 silver and 30 bronze. This ensured that India bettered its medal count from the 2010 Guangzhou Games and matched the gold medal haul of the inaugural 1951 Asian Games. Haryana topped the national medal charts again in India's record Asian Games Hall, but compared to the Commonwealth Games, the representation was wider with medalists coming from as many as 21 states, sixth more than the Commonwealth Games or CWG. Like in the CWG, Haryana contributed the highest number of medals. Boxing, wrestling and weightlifting fetched India only five medals, whereas at the CWG they collectively gathered 30. Athletics provided biggest chunk of medals at 19. The corresponding number was three in the Commonwealth Games. Contrastingly, shooters could only manage nine, as opposed to 19 at the CWG. To ensure that people do not lose faith in political processes and institutions, there is a need for political parties to evolve a consensus on the code of conduct for their members, both inside the legislature and out of it, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu said yesterday. Naidu was speaking at the release of his book, Moving On, Moving Forward, A Year in Office, to mark the completion of one year as Vice President and Rajya Sabha Chairperson. The event at Vigyan Bhavan saw Prime Minister Narendra Modi, former Prime Ministers Manmohan Singh and H.D. Devagada, Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan, Finance Minister Arun Jetli and Congress Leader Anand Sharma sharing the dice with Naidu. Expressing his displeasure over the functioning of the Parliament, Naidu listed reforms that he felt are necessary for its effective functioning as well as that of the state legislatures. Besides calling for a code of conduct for MPs and MLAs, he said that if a member desires to change a party, he must do so by resigning from the membership of the House. The anti-defection laws should be implemented in letter and spirit expeditiously within three months. Naidu added that election petitions and criminal cases against political leaders should be disposed of within a certain time frame and, if necessary, special benches of the Supreme Court and High Court should be formed for the matter. He also emphasized the need for a national policy on having an upper house in the states. President Ramnath Kovin arrived in Cyprus yesterday on the first leg of his three-nation tour to continue India's high-level engagements with European countries. 
The president and his wife were received by Cyprus's Minister of Energy, Commerce, Industry and Tourism, Georgios Lako Tripis, at the Larnaca International Airport. Happy to begin my visit to Cyprus, one of our closest and most steadfast partners in the international community. My delegation and I bring warm and friendly currents from the Indian Ocean to the waters of the Mediterranean. Looking forward to a productive visit, Mr. Kovan tweeted. The President will also visit Bulgaria and the Czech Republic. This is his first overseas state visit in the second year of his presidency. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 78.57 rupees per litre and diesel for 70.26 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 81.63 rupees per litre and diesel for 74.23 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 81.49 rupees per litre and diesel for 73.10 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 85.98 rupees per litre and diesel for 74.59 rupees per litre.